Hi, I'm Junjie Li from Concordia University. Our research is a better approach to track the evolution of static code warnings. Uh, first, what's the what, what's the static bug detector? It can detect a software well defects statically, like without running the code. However, they face uh, huge challenges in utilization. One of the reasons is that too many static warnings are generated for each project and many warnings are not actionable, which further discourages developers from using static bug detectors. Recent studies by Google show that developers prefer to resolve static warnings when integrating static bug detectors into continuous integration. That's CI. The key part of integration static bug tools is tracking the ev uh, evolution status of static warnings. Here's an example to show uh, what, 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 what tracking means. Uh, we have two revisions, pre-commit and post-commit. Uh, warning, one, warning one is in both revisions, so we name it as persistent warning. Warning two only appears in pre-commit, so we name it as resolved warning. By contract warning three, uh, we name it as newly introduced warning. Tracking approach aims to find out to resolve and newly introduced warning. Previous study has proposed a tracking solution with four strategies. Um, Excel matching, location-based matching, snippet-based matching, and hash-based matching. Um, the four strategies have different levels to match warnings. The upper blocks show um, the used warnings metadata for each strategies. For each strategy, in a warning, the metadata should have um, class name, master name, field name, star line, and end line. The lower blocks show the other source information, the strategy used. Due to the time limitation, I won't introduce them in detail. Uh, page, uh, page four shows an overview of our study. We uh, first run two static bug detectors uh, on two open source projects. Uh, we used uh, the state-of-the-art approach to track the reported warnings in the uh, in commit history and took a, a statistically significant sample of the tracked warning and performed manual analysis to uncover the inaccuracies. Uh, then we propose a better approach and we also pick up two, our, uh, two new projects to inde independently evaluate our improved approach and uh, to what extent our approach outperforms the state-of-the-art approach. So an analysis of 1,715 static code warnings from four large projects, open source projects, uh, we find that most of the inaccuracies come from two root causes. First, the, uh, the state-of-the-art solution is not designed to han handle code refactoring. It's very common in software well, uh, evolution. Second, for each warning in the pre-commit, the SOA solution finds the first matched warning in the uh, post-commit. However, the first matched warning may not be the correct one. Um, so there are two steps to improve the tracking process. First one, that we adopt refactor miner to extract code refactoring and help the matching process. Second one is adopting Hungarian algorithm to improve the matching accuracy. It's a good approach to solve assignment problems when there are multiple matched warnings. Uh, we collect uh, static warnings over 300 commits for each project, uh, for each project and the bar chart shows, uh, shows that our improved tracking approach significantly uh, outperforms the state of the art approach. Thank you. That's it.